Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot in the Pagan Perspective. This week we're talking about um, organizing paganism. So this week's question comes from Anonymous, who writes, Hello, I'd like to suggest a topic. Well, of course you can. What are your thoughts on making pagan paganism and pagan religions more organized? Do you think it adds too much structure, or does it make us capable of achieving better things in social areas and gives us a more form, firm definition in the eyes of the rest of the world. I know the topic has been touched on before, uh, but I can't remember if it addressed. It has been addressed head on. Um, I think the last time that we covered this topic was a few months ago, um, so I encourage you to go back and look at those videos uh, and hopefully I can gleam a little bit more than what I did in the last video. I know that la last time I talked on the American Council of Witches, or alluded to it, I didn't have an any of the stuff right in front of me, but I've actually just looked it up again, and it was founded in 1973, and they disbanded in 1974. Their major contributing factor was the 13 Principles of Belief that was actually added to uh, the Army uh, the Army Chaplain's Guide, I believe it is, yeah, the Religious Requirements and Principles of Certain Selected Groups, um, a handbook for chaplains. So those 13 Principles of Belief were actually added to this book and given out to chaplains, and it's still given out today to tell chaplains pretty much how to uh, cater to any religious uh, religious group, so or to help them understand uh, different religious groups other than their own. So that was their main uh, contributing factor that has come out of that council. In 2011, the, uh, somebody tried to redo the council or revive the council and bring it back, and it didn't go anywhere. And in February of this past year, there was a Facebook page that was put up for the American Council of Witches 2015. Now, everything that I've read, basically everything was supposed to be starting to release in March. I have not read anything saying that it has, it has actually been released. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I'm actually wondering if they're actually going to go through with actually redoing a new American Council of Witches. It would be pretty uh, pretty intriguing to see what they have to add to uh, the current principles of beliefs or how they will change the current principles of beliefs for the new principles of beliefs. So, which was the main goal of the 2011 revive, but that kind of floundered. I, I think it was due to some poor planning or anything like, or something like that. So basically, my my thoughts on the whole subject is it would be great to have a council of you know a council of witches. If any of you watch Sabrina, the witches council, I think it would be great to have something like that that would actually be a <coughs> excuse me a forefront to vie for our religious rights. And for, you know, uh, how do I want to say it? For education to people that don't understand it. I think it would be great to have something like that. But to get a spokes spokesperson, either a group of them or just one, it would be incredibly difficult. I kind of equate it to the pagan perspective. We still get emails all the time saying, you know, uh, whenever we're doing uh, auditions and all that, we still get questions asking, do you only take Wiccans? Because it seems like there's only Wiccans on the on the channel. I know it was big whenever the channel first started, too, because everybody seemed to have been a Wiccan, except for, I think, one or two of the original members. I think everybody was primarily focused towards uh, the Wiccan path or a solitary Wiccan path. I 
I do believe, and I could be wrong, and uh, I should fact check myself a little bit more. But we still get emails like that asking, "Well, why are there so many Wiccans on on the group?" or, or you know, do you guys not let anybody else in? Is there, a, a, you know, kind of a a wall saying that, "Hey, we'll accept you, but if you're not Wiccan, we might we might not." No, it has nothing to do with that. It's that more Wiccans apply than any other uh, any other path that you know, chooses to audition. So, whenever you have ten Wiccans looking for a single audition, and we only have three slots, and you have two of a, of a different group, say Druids or, um, or Heathenists, then if the Druids and the Heathenists aren't necessarily fit for the position, then the Wiccans have to go, or have to be the ones to to be in the audition, or to be part of the subs, or whatever auditions we're holding for. So that's basically what it boils down to with the Witches' Council, is that you would have a ton of Wiccans join, you would have a few Druids, uh, a few Heathenists, uh, maybe a, a Satanist or two, and then everybody else is sitting there like, you know, what about us? Don't we have representation? So, for, like for me, the Christopagan, one of the, the principles of belief, I actually disagree with. I think it's number 13, um, where it talks about that, you know, witches do not view the devil in any sort of, of way. Well, I, however, do. And I consider myself a witch, uh, a Christian witch, a Christopagan, uh, you know, and I know other Christopagans that actually do say that there is an ultimate evil, or devil, or Satan, or whatever you want to name that. Um, I know other Christopagans that actually do believe that. So, although I find all the other principles of belief pretty well-fitting, I think there's one that I would actually disagree with. So, in order to actually get a group of people to come up with a set of of rules or a set of understanding of who this big umbrella of paganism is, it would be immensely hard. And you can never please all of them. Just like all those rules, all except for one, kind of please me. I, I, I do agree with them. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily something that can happen only because you can't please everybody. And if it does happen, great. If we have a council like that, that's great. But they're not only vying for their specific paths, rights. They're vying for all of paganism, uh, which is a huge burden. So to anybody that's actually going to be part of a witches' council type or the American Council of Witches, um, I, I strongly urge you that if you wish to become part of a group like this, that you... Uh, you really do your research on what all pagans believe, and I think you're going to find it's going to be a lot harder than you think on coming up with a set of principles. Um, not that I think it's impossible, because nothing's impossible whenever witches are involved, but I think it's something that would really need to be well thought out and uh, approach with caution. And I think that having a representative from multiple faith paths, like the Christopagans, the Druids, the Wiccans, the, the, you know, eclectics, you know, the Satanists, heathenists, um, and I'm probably forgetting a whole slew of other ones, you know, you, you, you need to, you know, go to some of those different sects if you, if you haven't already, or if you don't have them in your, in your council, you're going to need to go to them and, you know, make sure that they agree on behalf of their path and paths like theirs, that they actually agree to what's being put forth by the council. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of pissed off people in certain paths. So, like I said, I think it's a great idea. I think it would be fantastic to have something like that uh, in to have somebody to vie for our rights and our freedoms and, and such, but I think it would be almost 
impossible, but not entirely impossible. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you can read more about the Witches Council or the American Council of Witches uh, by just simply Googling it. Um, the update that I got recently for the 2015 American Council of Witches is uh, by wildhunt.org. Uh, if you just Google Witches Council, it comes up. It's like maybe the fourth uh, search search term or whatever fourth website or whatever that comes up so <clears throat> yeah it, it it's pretty interesting they have an interview i haven't read the entire article but i'd be interesting interested in seeing where the 2015 version of the american council of witches goes and i do wish them a lot of luck uh a lot of uh discernment with their decisions so uh, the next two weeks are going to be vacation weeks for the uh, regular hosts, and the subs will be taking over for two weeks, so I hope that they have fun whenever they're in the regular host slots. Um, and Pagan Perspective is now six years old as of this month. I can't remember exactly what day it is. I know somebody's birthday on this channel is on that day. Oh. I can't remember whose it is, though. Anyway, one of the original founding members. Hmm, wonder who that is. Anyway, uh, happy birthday to you, Kara. Um, happy birthday to Pagan Perspective. Uh, and Kara, to go out to you, without you, this, this channel would not be possible. So, uh, <clears throat> having this on, having the Pagan Perspective birthday on your birthday as well is a, a huge deal, and it, I hope it, is as much of a gift to you as it has been to me to either not only be on it, but also to be uh, just a regular viewer. So I hope that's a huge gift to you, and I need to send somebody a birthday gift. So I'll try to find you something good. So anyway, until, let's see, this is August, September. Wow, September. Until September, may you guys have... Love, hugs, and ladybugs. May your ancestors be with you, and you may you have a great day and a better tomorrow. I fit them all in there. I'll see you all in September. Bye-bye.